I'm Thomas the Hermit, and I'm a lay hermit, a man of prayer, and I also have a YouTube channel where I talk about prayer and I also talk about other things that I think are of concern in the Catholic Church. Today's topic is, a, is furthering the theme of Teresa of Avila, the great teacher of prayer. How did Teresa see the human being? Now this becomes very, very important and I'll tell you why in a minute. But we're going to start off. This is at the beginning of her premier work. Her masterpiece was the interior castle. And in the beginning of the interior castle, she says this. I began to think of the soul as if it were a castle made of a single diamond or of a very clear crystal. So right off the bat, she says, we're like diamonds or we're like this very expensive crystal. And I think it's important that she starts that way because later on she's going to say some other things. But let's look a little bit deeper at how Teresa views the human person. In which there are many rooms, just as in heaven there are many mansions. Now if we think carefully over this, sisters, the soul of the righteous man is nothing but a paradise in which, as God tells us, he takes his delight. What do you think of a room would be like which is the delight of a king so mighty, so wise, so pure, and so full of all that is good? I can find nothing with which to compare the great beauty of a soul and its great capacity. There's an interesting term there. Uh, she says great capacity also. Not only that it's beautiful, but it has this immense capacity. In fact, however acute our intellect may be, they will no more be able to attain to a comprehension of this than to an understanding of God. For as he himself says, he created us in his image and likeness. Now if this is so, and it is, there's no point in our fatiguing ourselves by attempting to comprehend the beauty of this castle. For though it is his creature, and there is therefore as much difference between it and God as between creature and creator, the very fact that his majesty says it is made in his image and likeness means that we can hardly form any conception of the soul's great dignity and beauty. This is where Teresa starts off. She is, she is saying wonderful things about the human person. And she's pointing out the very, very real teaching of the church, which is that we were created in the image and likeness of God. Now, why is it important for us to cite this? Well, let me tell you why. There's several reasons why. Now, Teresa knows that she has to talk about the great dignity of the human person because from then on, all the way through her works, she talks about how messed up we are. <laughs> in fact, in, in, uh, in about another chapter, she calls human beings maladorous worms, whom the great king shouldn't even be with. Now, that's why I'm bringing this up, because we need to have a balance and we need to have a foundation. Our foundation needs to be of a clear, healthy psychology before we can make that contemplative journey. But what is the difficulty? Well, there's great difficulty because there's a lot of hoopapala about loving yourself. And this aspect of self-esteem or self-image has become the, the, uh, the great quest you know, of mankind in our age. But you know what? I'm going to tell you straight out that God takes us farther, a lot farther than mere wonderful self-love. He takes us so much farther, it is incomprehensible. It is beyond balanced psychology. And in Teresa, you will see that. And you will see in her writings the humility that she has and the humility that a person needs 
to make this contemplative journey. Now part of this is going to spur me to do some more videos about self-image and self-esteem because it's so messed up. A lot of people think they have self-love, all they are is narcissists. So we need to take a more in-depth look as to what healthy self-love really is. And I'm going to make several videos on that. Anyways, this is Thomas the Hermit. I know we're kind of starting slow with Teresa of Avila, but it's going to pick up pretty fast and it's going to be so far beyond where, where uh, we think things can be that is beyond our understanding. But say a prayer for me. I am praying for you and I'll talk to you later.